travel is a great way to expand our horizons, but it can also help us to understand who we truly are. Entrepreneurial couple Kim and Pashi have globetrotted extensively, exploring various cuisines and developing their own style of cooking. Today, they present a kitchen table tour of the world inspired by Honolulu and Singapore. Yo, I so wonder how the products do. I think it'll be doing well. Hey, the store's looking beautiful. Fresh ingredients are an absolute must for Kim and Pash's style of cooking and they spent some time carefully selecting ingredients ranging from oil to chilli peppers for the menu they were going to prepare for Zaki that evening. <laughs> thank you. Perfect, thank you. Thanks. Foodies Kim and Pashi have invited me around for dinner and I know I'm in for a huge treat. I can't believe Zach's coming over today. Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello, how oh, are you? Thank you so much for having me over for dinner. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. We've got a beautiful menu for you today. What's on the menu? We're doing a Singapore crab, which is a spicy pepper crab. It's delicious. The second dish that we have for you today is called Hawaiian poke. Can I help with anything? No, you're the guest today, so please make yourself at home and we'll get the food to you. So today I'm making a Singapore pepper crab. It's very simple. 15 minutes and you have a beautiful dish. So Zakia, we need a very hot flame to get that smoky wok flavor into your crab dish. We're going to start off with this pepper, which is the star of the dish. Some soy sauce. You want to coat that crab. Some oyster sauce. This creates a savory umami flavor. Next is the rice wine vinegar. This cuts that richness. Next up is the curry leaves. And now we're going to get into it. We're going to keep tossing just because the heat is very high and the sugars will start caramelizing. But that's what you want. You want to get the toasted caramel flavor. It's so good, it's almost like a dessert. Once that's done, we're going to move on to the ginger. Now we're going to get into the crab. The crab goes in. This is basically you taking a walk down an Indonesian street. Next up, we're going to use the fresh stuff. So we're going to go in with the scallions, coriander, and then we're going to toss that quick. Zakia, I see that you're getting that smell. It's almost ready. Mm. This is our golden spice pot. It pairs really well with all seafoods. It's got a bit of ginger, a bit of garlic. It's got coriander seeds. It's got fenugreek. It pairs well and gives a depth of flavor. Zach, I know you love butter, so it's that time. Wholeheartedly. And tie the entire sauce together. I think we're going to give it a little taste just to see where we're at. Very savory, just a little hint of sugar so we can balance flavors. We always need to check and balance. All we need now is just some coriander and the dish is ready. That's done. That looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try this, it looks fantastic. Oh my. If I could moonwalk out of here in heels, I would definitely be doing that. So ladies, I'm going to take this dish and get it plated. Zakia, today's dish that we're going to be preparing for you is called Honolulu Dreams. What it is is our take on sushi. It's a deconstructed sushi, a little bit of spice, very innovative. And the reason why we call it Honolulu Dreams is because of its sexy flavors. So what we're going to begin with today is our yellowfin tuna. Next up, we're going to marinate our tuna with some sriracha. It's basically a Korean sauce, which consists of fish sauce, vinegar, red chili. Next up, we're going to add a little bit of sesame seed oil. And next up, we're going to add some soy sauce. And finally, we're gonna add some Indonesian soy. It adds a really sweet touch to the tuna. We're gonna add our Japanese mayo, which we have mixed some wasabi sauce in. And finally is our scallions. The scallions is gonna to add to the freshness and the texture of the dish. We're gonna give that a stir. And there you have it, our marinade is ready. I'm going to be putting up our sushi rice in this beautiful wooden bowl. And what we've done with the sushi rice is we've added some rice wine vinegar. Let's get our marinated poke into our plate. It's looking beautiful and I can't wait for you to taste this zaki. It's one of my favorites. Now we're going to add our avocado. This is going to add to the buttery goodness of our dish and really creates a creamy, creamy flavor. We're going to put a dollop of our Japanese mayo, which is mixed with some wasabi. 
So our black sesame seeds is going to add some texture to our dish and also some colour. Wow, doesn't that look beautiful? And then we're going to add some of our fried onions. This is just going to add some texture. And last but not least, we're going to add our nigiri seaweed. And finally, we're going to add a drizzle of our Indonesian soy. This is going to add a sweet taste to our dish. Because Pashi and I love our spice and it really complements the dish, we're going to use our korma spice. And finally, some microgreens to garnish our dish and voila, this is our Hawaiian poke, which we call Honolulu Dreams. That looks amazing. The crab is ready, should we go serve dinner? Let's go. This is a visual feast and I'm sure it's going to be a taste sensation. Do I just go for it? Go for it. Okay, let's grab these. Stop being so amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for spoiling me tonight. Oh, it's been our pleasure.